Hello everybody. How are you doing this afternoon? I just wanted to say happy Christmas Eve to everybody. And I just hope you and your family will be safe and have a wonderful holiday. Um, 2023 is, is right upon us. So I pray that your new year will be prosperous. I pray that it will be something so unimaginable that 2023 will be your best year ever. Uh, you step it into what God has been preparing you for, for however long it's been. Make you step into uh, a new season of your life and just be ready to be of service to Him, of service to others, and just be ready to, to share Him. Share your experience, share what He's done. Because um, I know I will be uh, doing that. Uh, God has been so good to me decades, really since birth. So sharing that with the world, what he's done for me, how he's brought me out of uh, situations and circumstances that I didn't see no way. His timing and his preparation, me learning, me growing, as we all are needing to learn and grow. But something was placed on my, my spirit this morning and God asked me to write. And uh, here it is. I'm just sharing it with you. So the words were, time is short. Time is short. And indeed, time is short. And that is so true. Um, our time is not our timing. And it's coming from Second Peter verses 3, I mean, sorry, 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 8, okay, 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 8, and I'm reading from the voice translation, and this is what the scripture says, don't imagine, dear friends, that God's timetable is the same as ours, as the psalm says, for with God, for with the Lord, one day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years is like one day. So, what I like to share is this. So when life has um, come up on us, and you know we have a time schedule for everything, right? So, we have a time, we have to be at work. So, we're rushing around. We're just rushing everything, rushing, rushing, rushing. So, we have, like I said, a time we have to be at work. We have a certain time that we have to do dinner. We gotta get dinner fixed by a certain time. Uh, you, if you have children, you have to, you know, pick your children up from school or from daycare at a certain time. You gotta rush from one place to get to the next place. Um, also, um, <laughs> we rush uh, just to, to do projects. And I, I remember doing that a lot of times, rushing to do projects. It, it, for me, it has to be finished. Uh, set a time like timetable on ourselves. We do that sometimes too. We set a time that we want to get this finished. We, we got we got to finish by this date, and this is what we got to do. And or meetings. Some of you are um, in businesses, and you are the owners of your own businesses, and you have board meetings, and so you have to, you know, set these timetables. A lot of times we rush in to get to these meetings. Um, you know, we got to get it done. Well. As that same way we are rushing throughout our lives to get things done on time or before time. 
it's the same way that we are to be working on God's purpose uh, that he has put on us, you know, to give him the glory and the honor, okay? So we should be rushing around trying to share the God, share the message, the gospel to others. We should be rushing around and uh, trying to get to, to step into our purpose. Um, when I say rushing around, because again, everything is on God's timing, but during that time, we have things that we need to be doing, you know, and we should, uh, and I'm talking to me when I say this too, uh, we should get it done, uh, not procrastinate, and uh, just just think in that same process. So saying this, though, we are to pace ourselves too now and you know but at the same time time waits for no one so and then i remember a lot of people saying and i'm here i've heard it so much about the the dash is in between your birth and your death and you want to think about and ask yourself what will my dash say you know, from from the day that God birthed me into my physical family, your physical family, what have you been doing? I mean, you know, we grow, we learn, we make mistakes, we make errors. And then after that season of our life, that dash is there. Now, this is like the rebirth. Now, this is just Darlene's analogy, okay? It's like the rebirth. So now you got this dash in the middle. You don't been through life on, on the, the world's level and, and done things and uh, you weren't spiritual, you didn't know God, you know, you were seeking Him and now you found Him. You've been reborn, rebirth. So now, what? So God is, is giving you a clean slate Okay, his timing. He waited patiently on you to come to him. He waited patiently on me to come to him, um, to to seek out and say, "Okay, Lord, I, I'm I'm ready. I need your help. This is not me. So, hey, help me." And after that, what did you do? I know for me, I worked on myself every day, and. Uh, Put forth efforts to to help others and think about as we learn what God's purpose is and that was one of the things that it is to to help other people um, so I'm gonna read so I don't get off of everything because you know how I am but uh, so I, I said this the same with our purpose that God has put on us to do to give him glory and honor Okay, and then uh, to draw men, everyone, unto him. So, again, we should be rushing around to tell the world about Jesus Christ, about God, and all that he has done for us and for others that we have, we, you and I, have witnessed. Okay, we have witnessed his miraculous work. Why? Why? Because time is short, okay? So, we don't know how much time we have, not only to fulfill God's purpose uh, to, excuse me, to help humanity, but by using the gifts and talents that he has instilled in us, within us. So our desires that is in us will also um, line up, aligned up with God's will and purpose for us. So we don't know 
We don't know when God's returning back. Okay? So what are we doing with our time? So what are you doing with your time? Talk to me, y'all. Tell me what you're doing with your time. So if we go before our time, And if we go, well, if we go before he returns, okay, before we finish, what will our dash say about how our lives was lived? Time is short. So let's get busy being productive, being productive in the Lord. And when I say this, I'm talking about me as well, okay? So, everything is a process. But what seems like forever to us, that word has been put in, and it seems like forever, okay? So, like, everything is a process. So, when we've been working on things working and I mean consistently growing and all the great ideas that God has placed on you, your heart's desire has been in you for a long time and you've been doing all these things, uh, when I say things, steps to help you in those desires to, um, to strengthen, to grow, to to get better, to be your best at it. And you've been doing all this for, it seems like forever. And then you think you haven't seen yourself get to that, what you're working hard to manifest. So you feel that there's no results. But let me remind you, and I want you to think and not be hard on yourselves because your work is, is done and it's it's gonna happen. So with me, when thinking like that, but God allows you and me to look back and be like, wait a minute, you see these little things that's happened in between that that God has allowed? God, not you and not me, God has allowed to happen while we was being obedient, trusting and believing, having strong faith, you know, stepping out of comfort zone. I mean, we were frightful. So stepping out of comfort zone and then just going with it. Trust in God, okay? Having a strong faith. And then what happens? Years later, decades later, it finally manifests itself. It finally take flight, take off, and have wings. What you've been working on forever. I don't care if you've been, like I'll say, uh, you have so many gifts and talents that you've been working on all of them, and you haven't really mastered all. You haven't mastered maybe just one, but then you've been doing things to help you grow, whether it's workshop, seminars, school, uh mentors, listening to mentors in those areas, taking uh, just taking others' uh, suggestion or how that, you know, not just for anybody, but suggestion for those who are where you want to get to or they have more experience in what you're doing and they're doing it. And, you know, we all got our own style, our own flair. So listening to those who have already been there. They're there. So, therefore, let me look at my train of thought. So, therefore, all of a sudden, when it just comes, it's like, it happened. But most people think, man, that just happened overnight. And I've learned nothing happens overnight. To some people, it might seem like it because they just seen you do something, and then that went. But they don't know what it took 
all that preparation way back there. And you kept at it. You kept at it. Being determined. Being consistent. Being persistent. Being faithful. Being obedient. Being trusting. Trusting of God. Allow him to lead your life. Your thoughts. Your spirit. Your everything. He became everything that you want and need. And once he saw that, then he was like, okay, my child is, is ready. They spend time with me. They learn how to be still, but still working on some things. You know, we're never there, but we're always working to get to a certain point. And what is that point is to get to heaven. So, and lastly, this is what I'm seeing is that, uh, as I said, it's little by little, our growth has showed up. Our knowledge, our wisdom from God, our change, our self-development has revealed itself. And when it is revealed for the world to see, when it just seemed to take off, like I just said, with wings and fly, and it didn't just happen. It took a period of time, but God's time. But God's timing, okay? So, and it happened just like that. That instant, you are now stepping into and walking into your purpose. It has shown up, y'all. In God's timing, though, when he's seen now, like I said, that all, you went through all the fires, You've been through it. I've been through it. Lord knows I've been through it. Been through that fire. But while in that fire, you stood in it. I stood in it. With faith, God's strength, God's power. And you know what? <laughs> we didn't give up. We didn't cave in. And we kept looking to God for our help. Saying, Lord, help us out. Help us out of this fire. And then there is, I want to read Isaiah 55, 8. Let's see, Isaiah 55, 8. Isaiah 50, Isaiah 55, verse 8, it reads, My intentions, my intentions are not always yours, and I do not go about things as you do. My thoughts and my ways are above and beyond you. Just as heaven is far from your reach here on earth. So, the scriptures tells us that God's ways is not our ways. And our ways is not his ways. God's timing. So, so now... The everything's taken off. And God says, I have shielded you. I protected you. And still will. He says, I prepared you. Now, show all that I prepared you for. Matthew 5, 16 says, let your light shine before others. Helping others. Showing God's work in us. Showing God in us to the world. Romans 8.28 tells us that everything works 
together for the good of those who love him, okay, and are called according to his purpose. And we know that God causes everything, okay, for our um, so just remember that in whatever God planned is for us, he put it together. He planned everything from uh, the beginning of time before we were born into the families that we have. So everything is so on God's timing. And again, we think things is alone time and process to him is this because he see us doing all of this and he's like okay here okay but he has to see that through all that while we're waiting and we're working he's patiently waiting for us too now he's waiting on us to, to come to him and get it right and with that said with him patiently waiting and we're waiting on, if I'm saying this right, his blessings. Well, he blesses us every day we wake up, but we're waiting on the blessing of the, the things that we've done, the labor and everything. And he has to see that we're going to do his will. He has to know that our spirit is right. He has to know that, okay, now this person, my child has been, been prepared my child has been working diligently. My child has an understanding of the words. My child has an understanding of uh, what's, what's happening. So now they're ready. They're not going to forget me. They're not going to wave away from me. They're, they're, they're going to keep me first. So now I'm going to trust them with what I've been having, what I've been waiting on them to get to understand so I can give it to them. So now, and God be with us. God be with us no matter where he takes our steps because he guides our steps. God be with us no matter how he elevates, how far he elevates. God be with us no matter who we are in front of. It's all God. And everything is God's timing. So that's why I've learned to do my best. I'm still working on it, y'all, just to see the, the good, find the good in everything that God does. Find the good, well, not what he does, because so we know God is good, but to find the good in everything, to see the good in everything, so that the life that God has, so that I can see the best in me so that my life would be happier. And it's only because of God's grace that we are worthy and deserving of His goodness, His grace, His mercy. So with that, grateful. Always be grateful and be thankful. So that was uh, what I wanted to share so I didn't read it verbatim, but I did go back in to read because I know I got ahead of myself for something. But uh, I just thank y'all uh, for listening. And again, just remember, everything is in God's timing. Don't, don't lose faith. Just keep going, keep it moving, and be ready to step out in faith. If you are not scared to do something, but if you're scared to do it, that's being out of your comfort zone. You're being scared and you're saying you trust in what you don't see because we don't see God. You know, being scared and not moving is staying in your comfort zone. But being scared and afraid because God tells us there's no fear in us and you step out of that, that fearness out of your comfort zone, that's trusting something. You see, that's trusting God.
God said, come on here. Follow me. I got you. And it's time. He got us. Let's go. So that's all I want to share. God bless you all. Have a happy holidays uh, and happy new year. May your year, new year be prosperous. Again, may it be more than you can ever, ever imagine. And keep God first. Love y'all.